My name is Christopher Boyer. I'm one of the past presidents of the Lake Oswego Chamber of Commerce, and it is my good fortune to be your MC today. As you know, the Chamber of Commerce is the heartbeat of our local community, and Friday Morning Networking is where we connect your faces to our local business places. And today, we're here at iSandbox with Monica. So, please put your hands together for Monica. Who here has heard of STEM? Everybody here familiar with STEM? Great. How many people here know about STEAM? A few less hands. Well, Monica is going to tell you all about it. Here you go. So, um, first of all, I would love to thank you all for coming here. I am thank you to Lake Oswego Chamber of Commerce also. We moved from Michigan in 2020, and it was really hard to know people, communicate, and get connected to them especially when you want to start new business, it was really, really hard. And with Lagos Vigo Chamber of Commerce, it became quite easier, I would say. And, um, now we know a lot of people, and the business is going in the direction where it should go. So thank you again. Um, I'll tell you a little bit more about the Ice and Box Factory too. This is a STEAM-based activity center for ages five and over. We do. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'll hand it over to my husband for a minute. <laughs> See, this is what my 24 hour job is. <laughs> so, th this is kind of a, all her imagination. I'm here. Basically, I did hire an architect to do the job. And now I guess I get to explain. Uh, when, when we came here, actually, with, with having younger kids and the places, try to wean away the kids from the devices, like if some of you were, who were experienced even right now, it's just atrocious. So this was kind of a, when we looked around, there wasn't much opportunity. We had some experience in this area. So why we are doing this for us actually, is part of being was parent, create an opportunity for the other parent to have that facility as well, where you can wean those away and in the end, kind of a, make more of a citizen where they understand, they mix with people versus just being on the devices. Uh, but also this, we do, uh, by plan, we do cater to the parents as well, so different activities and just uh, they being able to be present here and mix with other people. Uh, one of the things actually we focus on is the local artists and artisan. We, we wanna support them. We have been doing that for a year and a half and I think we wanna be more pronounced in that space. And last but not the least, what I wanna talk about is, uh, when we talk about kids, we cater to all kids but part of it is we also try to look at it. Uh, having a daughter myself, having more women, more girls gravitate toward, uh, gravitate toward the STEM field, that's also we try to do it intentionally. And part of it is also diversity, just trying to support that as well. Uh, I wanna come back to STEAM for a second. So anytime if you wanna tell kids you're gonna learn something, guess what, they run away from it. That's not what they are gonna do, right? So having our own kids, one is they wanna do something. They don't wanna look at things, right? So we, we, we cover that. But the other part is, if you tell them I'm gonna let you code something, they will run away. So what we do is we bring arts into it, that's where the A in STEM comes from. You tell them, hey, you're gonna take some funny materials and make some balls. They're very happy to do that. But then we tell them, okay, can you put them in this order? Suddenly you know the plan, uh, planet system. So that's your solar system right there. So that's all we can kind affect. Of, uh, cajole them into learning science. So that, that's, I think, introduction, and uh, thank you for coming in. Really appreciate that. So when you say you, you're here for kids, children, kids from ages five and up, you're including adults in that, and you've also done team building exercises for, yes. for different adult groups as well. Yes. Is that what that back room in there is for? <laughs> that is a private room where, like, it could be party for the kids or for adults. So, okay. depending on how many people we have, we just come in here or. And I knew you had a voice. 